Hey, what's up guys? It's Little John. Um, today we're going to talk about how to kite for fright in the plane of fear. So, a couple things I want to orient you to on this, uh, this little map here. You got the blue arrow, that's essentially going to be the path for the bard. You've got the green striped area, that's going to be where the raid's going to be set up at. You got the yellow striped area, that's the area the puller is going to be working in. And you have the red circle, uh, which is where fright is located at. So, as a bard, your job is to get as many of the mobs in the path of the pullers um, out of the way of them so that they can bring it in, bring fright in clean. So what you're going to do is you're going to zone in, do a little button hook to the left, and grab the initial stuff just from the portal area, and then get on your kite. You don't want to grab all of them because if you die, or if the kite gets you know dropped somehow, whatever, um, those mobs are going to walk back into the green area during the fight, and you're going to basically the raid will get trained. So as you go to your east through the yellow area, you want to try and grab all the mobs from the yellow tower and from the gray tower and from the boogie house, basically anything in the path of fright along that south wall. Then you're going to take them up to the uh, northwest. Now I do another loop around here, um, and you'll see in the video that follows, uh, uh, you'll see the, the rest of us walking in to go uh, grab the death touch and uh, pull the mob. The only reason why I doubled back was just to make sure that there weren't any other mobs that I missed. And then uh, I swoop back up and I go run around up into the uh, northwest. Now the video ends, but basically what you can do is once you're back up into that northwest area, just run circles uh, in uh, up in that corner, um, keep the mobs out of the, the green area. Um, you just do that by keeping distance on them and keeping cellos going, guardian rhythms, uh, and then uh, uh, solemn mystic shielding. All right, so that's what you got for your path. Now let's take a look at it uh, in video. All right, zone is clear. What pop? Fright did. Who knows? Have we bath on it? You know I did. Where my phone didn't get it. Right here, it's important to note that you stay west of his temple because if you go east, you have the potential of having your train social aggro fright, and then you're going to eat a death touch. Basically, at no point do you want your train to social aggro fright, uh, especially before the death touch is out. Otherwise, uh, you'll be on his hate list, and then you'll get death touched. I'm following Kunio. You guys got the pole covered, or should I head that way? I can go up and get it right now. Somebody's got to eat the death touch. Damn, that's one hell of a kite. Yep. Thank you, Hold on. So, as you can see, there's no mobs in the way because of our first loop. So anybody can eat the death touch. It means a level 51 druid can run from the portal to Fright's temple, eat that death touch, then our pole team can safely bring Fright back into camp. Now, as you can see, I turn northwest, and I just continue to run up around the corners <laughs> over here, just taking big circles to keep that train occupied while the full team brings the mob okay. into camp. You guys ready to take it? Yeah, yeah. There it goes. Wait for a DT? It'll be instant. Told you it did. It's on Azimut. Bring it Bring westward. It Azimut with the baseball. Hell yeah. Just goes to show, anybody can fucking be a, be a tagger for that kind of stuff. Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so same thing again. Green area is where the raid's at. Yellow, orangish uh, area is where the pullers are going to be. Blue path is you. Red area is Draco. Okay? He can spawn anywhere in the graveyard. So what you're going to do um, upon zoning in are the difference between pulling for or kiting for Draco versus uh, Fright or Dread is that Draco doesn't death touch. So you're basically going to go pull him for the raid. Now the key step in here though is that you have a uh, like a puller or you know, ripper, tagger, whatever you want to call it, in place in that yellow area um, to bring him into the raid while you maintain the aggro on the rest of the kite. Um, what you'll see is, uh, so on the blue arrows, um, where I made a mistake is I turned south once I got next to the Fright Fiends building um, and that brought my train way too close to the raid which ended up social aggroing um, people from the raid. Now Sadiq actually saves it by doing the he rips Draco out of the train, he gets brought into uh, camp, and then he, since he had social aggro, runs out of camp 
and feign deaths. That way the rest of the mobs didn't come back, or at least not too many that weren't manageable. Um, so instead of me turning south and then going back, uh, going back north um, up by the firewall, I should have probably turned north towards the fire or Fright Fiends building and then just gone up in that northwest corner that way. So basically uh, you just need to make sure that once or once you FTE Draco, you bring him into that yellow area um, and have somebody there ready to rip it. If you don't have anybody there to rip it, you can't kite Draco since he's a raid mob. So you either have to die in place um, or use a CT potion or West Commons cap or something. Um, but the best uh, best method maybe just uh, sit there and hope that somebody comes out to get it, and then uh, and then you have the raid mob in camp. So let's take a look and see what it looks like um, on video. Logging into Hoofling right now. All right, you guys need to get to zone wall as fast as you possibly can because I'm going straight for Draco. There's a lot of enemies. There's going to be a lot of enemies in camp. You're just going to have to have faith that the uh, kills will kill all those uh, trash mobs before you bring the raid mob to them. Start CCing. Are you guys ready for me to FTE it? Yeah. Do it. Is there someone on a monk ready to tag it off so I don't have to? Um, Hoofling will be logging in in about 30 seconds. The fuck are you Got kidding it. me? Got so it. coming. Pop. CT Draco. 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 Draco's incoming. Draco's incoming. Hooflung is zoning in. Draco's in. Kill the scaling. Kill the scaling. Alright, specify the tank. How many enchanters do we have here? We should probably just drop Here's where I panic a little bit since I've got two shiverbacks on me and there's a couple more mobs that are coming at me and I can't find where the train's at. Um, and then right. I turn, I so take that right turn to my right instead of my left. Um, if I would have turned left, scaling. the train wouldn't have gotten close to the camp, and we would have been fine. Get the other ads. I'm gonna drop careful. Get the train. West wall. West wall. Draco incoming. You got him. Clean. We got a lot of ads in camp. Listen, anyone if you tag them in, up to that train that needs to clear their aggro. Like eight people got aggro on that whole train. Yeah, uh, run away from camp on the back side of the What's up guys? Alright, so same thing as before. You got the green area equals where the raid's going to be at. Yellow area is going to be where your pullers and taggers are standing. Blue uh, line and arrows is the bard path. And then the red circle is uh, where terror, the mob that we're going to be pulling is. Now terror doesn't death touch, so you basically want to go out there, FTM, and then bring it back to camp, have somebody rip them on in. Um, so same thing like before with Draco, you basically want to pull, or you take the a direct route towards him, and then uh, once you FTE him, you want to stay um, in that yellow area or a little bit north away from the green area, um, so that way that the raid doesn't get social aggro on the rest of your train. Now what you'll see happen in the video is, I go up there, you take the most direct route, you, uh, you get FTE on him, you turn around and start heading back. Um, everybody's zoned in, moves to that west wall and starts killing the, the ads that are there. Now I probably could have taken a little bit more uh, northerly route and ended up uh, almost at that Fright Fiends building. Uh, the monks would uh, do just fine to go out there and, and grab them from that area. It was a little bit far south but it's not as big of a deal. Basically once, uh, once that rip occurs you just want to GTFO as fast as you possibly can up into that northwest corner um, and then you maintain that kite up in that area. Uh, one thing to note about Terror is he does do a uh, dispel, so make sure that the raid does not have uh, charm pets for this one because he will dispel that charm. Um, so if you're very druid or chainer heavy, uh, it could wipe you. So let's take a look uh, and see how it goes down. Doyle yeah, just did. Are we zoning? Yep, zone on in. Go to West Wall. You're going to have to fight some mobs. All right, Tracky's gonna rip off me. Somebody back up Tracky as well. Okay. Are we, I'm guessing Triflin's in a tank. Sure. You got FD. Uh, Stags can back up tank if need be. I'm sure Trif won't die. Yep, zone in. I've got FTE. Start moving to West Wall right now. Do you have FTE with the bike? Uh, yes. Please stop aggroing everything. 
go to camp. Make sure you we get a peel off that ASAP. Where'd you turn up? It's uh, coming. That's three spiders in camp. Can you grab them yet? All right, taking Thanks again for watching, level. guys. Hope this helps out, uh, helps us get some mobs. Never be afraid to step up and uh, give something a try. Uh, we always appreciate it. I'll see you out there. Let's go!